Yes, sir. What do you tell local leaders who have seen one group of lawmakers after another visit the border and say the problem here has only become worse? I say thank you, one, for visiting the border. Two, take action. What Congressman Chip Roy told you is we didn't wait till this month to take actions. We have been coming to the border. I think if you talk to the Republican conference, you'll find out almost 80% of our conference has been here more than once. She's saying even higher than that. So. so we put in a bill. The Democrats are in the majority. They can withhold our plan, and we have a plan to secure the border. We laid it out months ago. But we, the only action we have is what's called a discharge petition, where you can get a simple majority of the House, Republicans or Democrats, to sign a discharge petition, that bill can come up. You know exactly what that bill is to make sure we don't pull back Title 42. So for everyone who says they want to do something about it, they have an ability to. So the real question would be is to ask those people who've come and said they do something, what actions have you taken? We've rolled out a five-point plan to secure the border. We've done discharge petitions. We've brought more people to the border. We've invited to sit down and meet with the president based upon what we've learned here since he won't travel here. He denies us the ability to even meet and talk about it. That's a frustration. But that's denying the American public to actually have a voice. Yes, sir. Look, we sent a letter to the secretary. We not only just sent a letter to the secretary to ask what is his plan. We're 30 days out. When I talk to the community leaders, they are worried. The mayor is worried. He's saying that we need a plan and we don't know what the plan is. We ask him for it. They won't say it. As a secretary, he has a responsibility to this nation. He's coming before the committee on Thursday. Ranking member Jim Jordan sent him a letter on what our questions are going to be. So he can't sit there like he's done time before and say, let me get back to you. There's no time for getting back to us. And it's not about answering us. It's about answering the American public. This is his moment in time to do his job. But at any time, if someone is derelict in their job, there is always the option of impeaching somebody. But right now, he's got 30 days. His first response to us should be, we should not lift Title 42. They're not prepared to protect, and we cannot sustain what will happen to this nation. Thank you all. Appreciate you coming.